There are several ways to compile and deploy Solidity code. In this video, only three methods will be demonstrated. Using Remix IDE, using a Node.js script, and using Truffle. The Remix IDE can be found at this link. I will demonstrate a deployment using an injected Web3 instance provided by the MetaMask extension. And I'm also demonstrating a deployment using your local running Ethereum node. This is the Remix IDE. Let's delete this example and create a new file. This is my dummy contract. I have installed MetaMask as you can see over here. Let's log in. I'm connected to the Rinkeby test network. I've selected this account. And you must select Environment Injected Web 3. If you select Developer Tools, MetaMask is provided an Injected Web 3 instance. To deploy this code, you need an Ethereum node. And MetaMask is acting like a proxy. Before you deploy this code, select Settings. You can change your compiler version. You can select Enable Optimization, and the code is already compiled. As you can see, this particular file contains two contracts, Mortal and Demo. And Demo is an instance of Mortal. To deploy this contract, you need only to deploy the Demo contract. The Demo bytecode will include the Mortal code. So we don't deploy the Mortal contract, we deploy the Demo contract. This is our demo constructor, and here we enter our constructor arguments. Enter 10 and hello. Our MetaMask account is open, and we press the Create button. It's asking for confirmation. I have enough Ether to deploy the code, as you can see over here. The maximum transaction fee will be $2.47. I press the Submit button. I'm waiting for the transaction to be mined. And my transaction is mined. This is my contract address. Press this button to copy your contract address. After you have deployed your code, make sure you log out for security reasons. Go to an Ethereum block explorer, for example, Etherscan. I'm switching to the Rinkeby test network because that is where I've deployed my contract. So I'm now switched to the Rinkeby test network, pasting my contract. You can also deploy this code using your local running Ethereum node. Let's start up an Ethereum node. I am now starting my Ethereum node. It is connected to the Rinkeby test network. I'm unlocking my Coinbase account because I know that this account has enough Ether. Switch your environment. Select Web3 Provider. Select OK. Localhost 8545, that's correct. If the environment is now switched to a Web3 Provider, make sure that your accounts are displayed over here. So these are my accounts and this is my Coinbase account. If your accounts doesn't appear, close your browser and start over again. Let's check my settings. This is the Solidity version I want to use. I select Enable Optimization. I'm entering my constructor values. So my contract is submitted, and here's my contract address. Here is the response. I'm now going to demonstrate how to compile and deploy a Solidity contract using a Node.js script. The Node.js script I'm going to use can be found at this link. By the way, if you want to know more about my other Ethereum tools, you can find it at this link. The contract will be deployed using your local running Ethereum node. The Node.js script can be found at this page. This is a Node.js script. And this is the Solidity contract I will be using in this demo. It is the same contract I have used earlier. This is the Node.js script. 
If Compass and deploys a contract, this script can only read one Solidity file containing one or more contracts. This script cannot handle imports. A quick explanation, this script requires these node modules. You can enter your account address over here and your account password, but this is highly unsecure. If you don't want to enter your password over here, comment out this line and unlock your account using the Get console. So let's do this. You enter the file name over here, and this is the contract you want to deploy. So enter demo and not mortal. This script can compile and deploy the contract. If you don't want to deploy the contract, set it to false. I have added a lot of comments and also links for more information. This line compiles your Solidity contract. I've added the value 1 to activate the optimizer. This line deploys the contract into the blockchain. These two values are your constructor arguments. And here it is waiting for a miner to include the transaction in a block. And here it displays your contract address on screen. My Ethereum node is running. I have unlocked my Coinbase account. I'm now going to execute my Node.js script. I received the transaction hash. I'm waiting for the miner to include the transaction in a block. My transaction is included in a block, and this is my contract address. So this contract is now deployed on the Rinkeby test network. This is the last demonstration. I'm going to use Truffle. Truffle is a development framework for Ethereum. More information can be found at this link and this link. I will be deploying the same contract I've used before on my local running Ethereum node. This is the Truffle GitHub page. And here you can find information how to install and use Truffle. It is quite easy to install and use. I will not go to demonstrate that part. This is my Truffle project. I have deployed my contract over here. It is the same contract I have used before. This contract is provided by Truffle and is needed to deploy your contract. This is what the initial migration files looks like. And this is what the deployment contracts files looks like. This is the name of the contract you want to deploy. And these are my constructor values. I've modified this file. I have added this line. Gas is 3 million. I'm now in my Truffle project. If you enter Truffle compile, it will only compile your Solidity contracts. To deploy your contract, you enter the command Truffle migrate. My Solidity contract is now deployed. This is the contract address and this is the transaction hash. So this is Etherscan, selecting the Rinkeby test network, pasting the contract address and here the proof that the contract is deployed. Let's try it again. You can see it is not deployed. If you now enter dash dash reset, and the contract is now deployed. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.